I'm Kelsey from Beacon Coffee and today I'm going to be talking you through our daily grinder cleaning protocol. Cleaning your grinders every day is really important to keep your coffee tasting delicious and to make sure your equipment runs smoothly during the day. So the first thing I'm going to do is close the hopper gate. After that, I can purge through all of the coffee from the chamber. Depending on the exact make and model of your grinder, this generally takes between two to four doses. All of that coffee ground can be then disposed of into the compost. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the coffee hopper from the grinder. When I do this, I want to ensure that the hopper gate remains closed so I don't spill the beans all over the floor, which has definitely happened to a lot of us. The coffee beans are then going to be stored in an air airtight food safe container overnight. I'm then going to place my empty hopper back on top of my grinder and grab my grinds. Now grinds are a really great thing. Uh, what they do is they remove any residual coffee oils from the burrs without the need to disassemble a grinder. So I'm going to grind through about one flat cap full of those and that's about 35 grams of pellets. Don't worry, it is food safe, it is gluten free, it is vegan um, and it's compostable. So once I have done that, the next thing I'm going to do is clean my hopper. What we're going to use is steam from the espresso machine to do this. So first of all, I'm going to purge my steam wand so that I am using steam, I'm not using hot jets of water. And then I'm gently going to steam the interior of the hopper. Not putting my steam wand so close to the plastic as to expose it to any unnecessary heat. I can now grab a clean microfiber cloth and I'm going to uh, really thoroughly polish the interior and exterior of the hopper. If I do this every day, it's going to stay clean and pristine. I can now switch off my grinder overnight. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my shop vac and I'm going to vacuum the top of the grinder where the burrs are and then up into the base of the chute. This is where I point out that when the burrs are exposed, there is no reason that our fingers should ever need to be in there. If for some reason you ever do need to access the burrs, say there's a foreign object stuck in there or you're doing a deep clean, you need to ensure that the grinder is not just switched off but it is actually unplugged from all electrical supply. After that, what we do is we put our hopper back on the grinder. And now I'm just going to quick, quickly check a couple of things. The first thing is opening up the control panel and just visually checking inside the chute. If there are any loose coffee grounds in there, I'm just going to push down with a paintbrush and get rid of them. If there's any coffee oil buildup, I can use that microfiber cloth to wipe it away. Making sure that I only ever clean down to get the chute and then I never clean up into the grinder where the coffee comes from. This is where the coffee distributor or declumper lives and it's really imperative that we don't damage or break that. Next, I'm going to give the exterior of the grinder a little bit of a clean. Uh, so if there's any loose coffee grounds, it's as simple as using a paintbrush to brush them away. And if there are any coffee stains or finger marks, I'm just going to use that microfiber again, a little bit of dab um, and give it a quick polish. So it's important that we clean our grinder every day. If we do, there's never going to be any excessive time or elbow grease needed. It's just going to be easy maintenance. And it's not just our espresso grinder that needs cleaning. It is also our filter grinder. So for us, that means our EK43. We follow almost exactly the same procedure for that. The only difference is when we run through our grinds, we open up the grind so it is at its coarsest setting. So cleaning your grinders every day is super important for three reasons. First, it's making sure that your coffee tastes delicious. We want it tasting clean and flavorsome and we don't want any off taints of old coffee in there. Secondly, we want to ensure that our grinder is running consistently and smoothly throughout the day. If you're getting super inconsistent doses or you're finding it hard to get the right timings, it might just be that your grinder needs a good clean. And finally, it's to make sure that our grinder has a long and happy life. A grinder is an essential and expensive piece of cafe equipment. And to ensure that it uh, keeps running as it should for a long time, we need to make sure we're cleaning it on a daily basis. Thanks for listening guys and happy grinder cleaning.